lot of people like to have the grading information about the class. And we'll talk a lot more about this issue of kind of how much is for participation, how much is sort of these things called field activities. And I'm going to get into exactly what that means, the provocations of kind of what the percentage breakdown is for uh, provocation one and provocation two. And then there's a final pro Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I have a class issue now. Sorry. Oh, um, isn't this a lot of the space? I'm not sure, but it's disruptive. You're going to have to leave. Sorry. It's class. Oh, cool. So, really, there's... I'm really sorry, but according to my notes here, the room is open to the public, and uh, I'm giving a tour to respect the students and their parents. This, uh, the, okay, listen, this, this is a class now. Uh, this might be a public university, and it is, and yeah. this might be a public right. space. Um, but you really, you can't be in here. I'm, I, this is just really disruptive. Okay. I wish I could go, but I'm in a little bit of a tough position. Now just hear me out. Um, I've been hired to give this tour to this group. So given that I'm the liaison to this community, and while I totally respect your you know, position here, I also I'm obligated to the people that I signed up for my tour, right? Yeah, like they want to see this. Well, I'm obligated to the class that's here right now. These people that are here, this is my community, and this is where my obligation lies, okay? I'm not sure if you're saying what this space, like who has the right to be in here, or what, does it change from moment to moment? I'm not sure what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, actually I am. I'm asking that question. Um, it seems like our two communities are right now overlapping, and isn't it possible for two communities to coexist in the same space? I mean, that's a relevant question. I mean, certainly, <laughs> you know, multiple communities exist. I mean, someone is more than two or three or, or, or a dozen. I mean, uh, I think the question is maybe how we define community. All right, all right. This is actually really interesting member of our society, um, because community is not just this kind of static space that we're in in this moment. Community is this living, breathing, roaming entity, and given that, we can expect to have different layers of community overlapping all the time. Like, that guy right there on his computer, he's doing something with his online community. He's in this other space, this virtual space. He's also sitting in this class, so he's part of this classroom community. Right? And I'm right now a tour guide, but I'm also a woman, so I'm part of the female community here. I mean, aren't we always kind of overlapping in our communities? And, and given that, you know, doesn't it seem like community is something that we should be able to engage and, and like work with each other on together? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Honestly, Berkeley should have a class on this topic. It's, it's so interesting. That's what this class is. This is critical practices. <laughs> you should be part of this class in this community. Would you co-teach it with me? Yes. <laughs> Come on up. Yes, I will. Goodbye, tour group. I found my own home in life. And see. <laughs> the lovely Jill Miller.